for the attorneys on the other side to say that they have done all these miraculous things for these uh, these different people is extremely disingenuous. And quite frankly, it's just not true. All new at this hour, the Georgia Department of Labor is firing back tonight after the Southern Poverty Law Center released a proposed settlement between the two parties. So we got our hands, of course, on that class action lawsuit filed by the Southern Poverty Law Center asking the department to reevaluate the way it was managing jobless claims made by Georgians. Now, during the height of the pandemic, 11 Alive's investigative team reported that thousands of claims were filed, but the Department of Labor could not keep up with the volume of calls. Well, yesterday, the preliminary agreement was approved by the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Georgia. In this agreement, the SPLC called for the department to improve its communications system and eliminate any backlog it may have. But tonight, Department of Labor Commissioner Mark Butler tells 11 Alive that these demands were already put into practice and the claims process has been caught up for more than a year. So the expectation that during a pandemic, uh, when you're staffed to take care of a few thousand people a month to all of a sudden, you know, uh, start experiencing millions of people uh, over the span of two weeks and with no time to prepare uh, and to have the expectation that everything is going to be perfect and there's not going to be any type of delays is extremely unrealistic. All right, so right now the two sides are still in ongoing discussions. The deal is set to be finalized on September 1st, pending court approval.